Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn about pandas concat functions and various parameters related to the concat functions in detail. So let's get started and learn it. So what is your understanding on concat? Concat means join. Now we are going to join two data frames. Okay, that is what we are going to learn in this video. Now, first thing you need is you have to import pandas as pd and then we will create two dictionary variables. One of the dictionary variable name I am going to give is iPhone uses and then when it comes to dictionary, remember you will be using curly braces. So, use curly braces and then hit on enter. Now, let us create a key called names and then use colon. Many times you will have a mistake. You will be using equals to symbol. No. In dictionary, you will always use a colon symbol. Okay. And then let's create list of some users. Okay. So I'm saying iPhone user A, comma, then B and C. So we will take very simple data because simple data is quite easy to understand. Right. So let's take some simple data. Done. Next thing what we will do, we'll create another key called models colon and within square bracket let me write 12 13 14 okay these are the three models this users are holding now once you have created this i would like to convert this to a data frame now to convert to data frame simply say pd dot data frame use a parenthesis open parenthesis and then come down close so now what you have done out of a dictionary you have created a data frame variable now if i'm going to type this data frame variable and hit on shift enter or if you simply run it what is happening it has created a data frame variable is it clear until now so you have created a data frame variable abc and then models they are using iphone 12 13 14 okay now let's copy this and Let's change it to Samsung. Samsung. Okay. Samsung uses and let's give some names. Let's say uh, ABC. So D E F. Okay. And some Galaxy models we have like let's say M33, M34, and then we have M35. And remember all of this has to be in actually in quote because these are strings right so use quotes appropriate at appropriate place okay done now what happened if you print this new data frame variable which is samsung uses shift enter and it gives you def the users and there you holding this models so now we have created what iPhone user as one data frame and Samsung uses as another data frame. Now what we will do, we will try to concat or join these two data frames. Now how do you join? Let's see that. What is the syntax to join or contact, concat? Syntax for concat. So let's see that. Now what is the syntax? Let me first create a variable called data frame, DF variable equals to then i am going to use pandas concat remember because we are learning pandas all your functions also will go with pandas dot concat as we have created an alias name called pd so i am saying pd dot concat clear very good now after this you use a parenthesis and then within square bracket you are passing these two data frames the first data frame name is iphone uses comma the second data frame name is Samsung user. So you are simply passing this to remember the syntaxes. Okay. When there are multiple things, remember you will be using a list that will be donated by a square bracket. Now list, how do you remember? If you see the square bracket, the bottom part is more like a L. The bottom part, ignore the top part. The bottom parts are like L. So like that you remember it's a list. List means square bracket. Clear? Very good. Now let's see the output. If you simply type df and run it, what would happen? It has printed the names column 
and models column because both our data frames contains names and models names and models and a b c d e f so one below the other it has kept what it has done the first data frame below that the second data frame and the output is like this so that is the concat or you have joined two data frames is it clear very good now let's look at this indexes this indexes has got 0 1 2 0 1 2 see it is again it is not going 3 4 5 it is saying 0 1 2 again because it is exactly just joining both of them so the indexes are also remaining in the same way now how do you ignore the indexes what is the question how do you ignore these indexes right or how do you correct them now how do you correct them let me tell you you have to add a parameter you have to add a parameter beside this so i am putting a comma and here i am saying ignore index is equals to true the moment i do this and shift enter what would happen you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it is ignoring the indexes of the data frame which is 0 1 2 0 1 2 and it is creating its own index that is the meaning now here you will have a question Rakesh, how do i remember all this for a long term let me tell you, you don't have to really remember once you have understood how it works simply say pandas concat and then you have a documentation so from the documentation once you have done a practice it becomes quite easy you don't have to really remember anything if you forgot something you pandas concat okay then uh, what i have to do i have to ignore so how will i ignore those indexes so here you have the parameter so like that you can take reference from the document but first time you have to practice it okay this we have understood now let's say this is now a little hard for me to understand these are iphone these are samsung so I would like to create a separate index which will block them. These are iPhone, these are Samsung. So how you do it? You use the parameter called key parameter. Okay, key, key parameter. So how to use the key parameter? Let me show you. Copy this. Paste it. Remove the ignore index. Okay, when you are using keys parameter, you should not use this ignore index. Remove it. Now the question is how to, what is this keys parameter? Simply type keys. Anytime you are learning a new thing, first attempt to do it you know you don't have an understanding just type it and see what is happening then anyways you are going to get the understanding so simply say keys equals to and i'm going to pass two things called iphone one comma the second thing i'm saying samsung so i'm simply saying sam sam okay now if i'm doing this what would happen if i'm going to run this so what happened it has created a category because this first set is from iPhone and the second set is for Samsung. You can give any name you like. You can see. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the benefit of doing so? What is the benefit? For example, if I'm saying data frame dot loc means location, and with this, if I'm passing, okay, give me all the set of iPhone users. So I'm saying iPhone, shift enter. What happens? It, it gave me all the list of iPhone users. Same way, if I'm saying sam shift enter you can see it has given me the samsung list of users so that is the use of the keys function okay now let me get some tweak here what i will do let's say this is this is the abc users okay uh, the initial data frame that you have created and here also instead of def imagine you have the same set of users having two two different phones they are also holding iPhone, they are also holding Samsung. So here the users are same. So if I am going to run this, just rerun it because you have made some changes. So now what happened? ABC with the Samsung models, ABC with the iPhone models. Mm -hmm. Now when this happens, right, and you do a concat, for example, look at this. And simply I am just removing everything. Okay. Now let me shift enter. So what happened here names ABC ABC models so it what happened you have got two times let's say you would like to change the axis so what happened it is one below the other it is keeping right the first set is kept and then second set is kept below that that means it is acting row by you know what if I want to keep it beside this somewhere like this instead of below I want to keep it beside now, if you would like to change that, then it is called axis. When you write axis equals to 1, remember it is means columns. Axis equals to 0 by default it works, that means rows. Okay. 
now look at the difference when you run this what happened first set and the second set kept one beside each other so that time you will be using column because column wise it is going to set it up if this one is clear axis is equal to one one means column remember this you will be using multiple times so remember this and this is also one of the parameter if you look at axis zero is default axis one means column okay now here the next next question comes rakesh now if somebody looks at this data frame what happened the name is here and the name is here there are duplicates can i drop this duplicate so what 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 we are learning here and this one what we have learned using access parameter right now we are going to learn dropping that duplicate drop duplicate column okay how do you drop the duplicate column now for this what you have to do first thing let me show you something there is a function called drop duplicate okay there is something called drop duplicates but this drop duplicate function removes the duplicates as per the rows not the columns so what i will do i am simply saying tt means transpose so what would happen if i am typing df.t all the columns that you see right names models names so these are the columns right now this column has been converted into transpose means it will convert into rows so you can see the names abc this entire column abc converted to row models 12 13 14 convert to a row like that everything is converted to a row now i am going to apply this technique what is that drop duplicates so what it will do it will check in every row which are the duplicates so it will find this is a duplicate row with this one so it will remove one of them now if i am going to simply apply this and shift enter what happened it has removed one of the column now again what i will do dot t transpose shift enter t and then run it now what happened you can see names models again i have done a transpose so it has again converted that names models models has come these are the apple model these are the samsung model so this is how you can work with the concat and different situation that would come you can tackle them so that is the uh, context for this video guys so thank you so much for watching leave out a comment if you have understood this topic or not if you are able to practice this simply say you are done done means i will understand you have done this exercise so simply comment done so let's move on to our next topic guys